Okay. Um, look, I'll, I'll make a promise because you, band of brothers, the faithful who stayed here, I will shorten my presentation. We will skip some parts. But, you know, to make things more lively, I will sing you a song. It is my version, Slovenian version of Puccini's La Bohème. Oprostite, gospodična, dve besedi, kdo sem, kdo sem, sem risar stripal in kaj delam, rišem in kako živim, živim. V svoji skromni izbi hodim čez san, mostove, v oblaki gradim gradove, vse dam in življenje vse mi podarja, a v duši bogat sem za milionarja. Le včasih dve datici krade ta iz moje skrinje, pa lepih oči. And you should follow the text, it was uh, most in the bridge. Uh, now, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I have at least two handicaps, one of them that I'm ginger. So what a leper colony is for lepers, Scotland is for gingers, my heart is with you, Dandonians. I really... And, um, but you'll hear that I have another problem with ginger. So, that's me. And I enrolled in secondary school for applied arts and design, Ljubljana. I was very young, 14 at age. I was alone in Ljubljana, left my mother and my brother, and it was quite a confusing time for me. And we had to pass some test, medical test. Everybody had to do it. And there was this lovely, lovely lady, doctor, and she passed me through this test for colors. And I was not able to see shit. I mean, it was like <laughs> dots, come on. I could pass some of them, but there was a problem and uh, I didn't know what the colors were on some of them and they really tried with some stupid Christmas tree, can you believe it? It was actually a Christmas tree with the, on the top there was this crazy, really not saturated colors and she tried, ah, can you see this? Can you see this? You cannot see this? What color is this? It was like this and I was really, really frightened and confused and then she went for me and said, what school are you going on? I said, school for applied arts and design. Oh, you will not be able to you have to have your color senses perfect for that school. And um, I was sent to uh, another test, and it was really, I mean, horrible. It was like from this black and white movies. And on the top of this building, there really were some horrible cases. There actually were people with bandages and all this. And uh, surprisingly, the lady that was inside of this uh, room, uh, she was uh, really kind, and she comforted me and said, look, he's out, it'll be okay, just take your time. And I was, you know, looking <laughs> okay. on these colors, and it's all a bit confusing for me. Yeah, yeah. this situation is, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, you see, it's a double ginger problem. And, um, but she, she told me, look, you'll have to, you know, put your senses together and to organize yourself, and you get through it. So, this is the very positive message that I got from this lady. And, of course, with the arrival of computers, I was able to organize my colors, and you would believe it, I, was, I had always the best marks when it came to these color circles and everything. I had colors perfectly structured, and of course I had many, many SMIC uh, numbers in my head, and I enjoyed my time with black and white, uh, black and white monitor and color printer. I actually had it for two years, and uh, it went okay. So, um, welcome to dinner, but um, you'll see this, I have this preference maybe to, to special, uh, people with special needs. I work with uh, people who are handicapped, though my basic profession is comics, illustration and education. Okay. Education is all a matter of building bridges, it seems to me, said this very brilliant Afro-American writer. And it is, it's not just building bridges, it's also to bridge, to get across. We will bridge this. <laughs> and read this. Now, this is, this is important. No, no, we're, we're getting serious now. No. The officer says, this is Kant, his famous text, What is Enlightenment? The officer says, do not argue, drill. The tax collector, do not argue, pay. The pastor, do not argue, believe. Only one ruler in the world says, argue as much as you please, but obey. We find restrictions on freedom, freedom everywhere. This is basic. What are we what are reading here is that this is the, the, the stone for the Europe. I, I'm not kidding you. This is the basic, basic stone. 
I reply, the public use of one's reason must be free at all times, and this alone can bring a life with mankind. And Kant divides two kinds of reasons. One is the uh, uses of reason, basically, and one is public and one is private. And you would think that the public use of reason is when politicians go and speak publicly. But it's not true. This is private use of reason. When huge companies, institutions, politicians go and discuss things, it's something that they say ex cathedra and it's private, it's privatized. What you have to use, what we all need to use, is this public wealth, wealth of reason and it goes in the cafeterias, it goes in the hall rooms, it goes everywhere. You have to discuss. We, we must not settle with fixed solutions. You must build bridges. Okay, walk the walk. So I'm just talking, walking my bridges. I was quite glad that you would say, uh, this is my magazine, I ran it together with my twin brother. We were like uh, 20, 12 years old, I think. And uh, I did everything, comics, he wrote the text, and I did all the, the, the puzzles. This is our dinosaurs, uh, issue double page. And uh, I did things like this, you know, spontaneously. My mother was, uh, is a librarian and my grandfather was, uh, was an engineer. This is my interpretation of why our castle got its uh, new facade. I was, uh, I think, yeah, 13, 14 maybe at that time, very young really. And this is my first drawing in the, the boarding school, actually the very first boarding because there were beds uh, between the windows and also some beautiful idea for this plastic sharks to frighten your friends. Okay, uh, so I'm still, uh, you know, uh, crossing the bridges, making my own computers, I can write some code, but, okay. Now, when I say bridges, uh, I believe that bridges are not just for passing through, but it's actually, it's a process when everybody makes a step closer. And the bridge itself, and it was stated here, it was made clear before by other presentators, presentators that the bridge itself has a value of itself. Things really change. Not one part of the country, not Isle, is not changed. Everything is changed when the bridge is made through. Okay, Lubica is uh, my friend, but we started with she being the headmaster of the primary school where my kids go to. Okay, she was a headmaster, she retired. We started to work together. We started to work on books, on school projects. But what we're doing now, we're now actually partners in, in developing uh, this page, special page, meant for kids in the chair newspaper. So this is our product. It's actually, it's a lady, went to retirement, said, come on, I, will still, I can still kick like hell, and she's working now with me. And we're actually preparing the, the contract with the chair newspaper, and we were yesterday in Maribor, and things go well, I can say. We have a huge support uh, with our newspaper. So this is us uh, uh, giving out some awards for kids. As the kids will be really happy. And uh, this is our contract, and this is the sketch of new characters which we developed together on the train while returning to Ljubljana. The other bridge, and I'm talking here about bridging again, learning something new, changing to be changed. And Alec has autism, and we are now working together for some three or four years, and it's an experience that really, really changed me. But I'm happy to say that it also changed him and his family. And uh, the lucky thing was that he has this fixation, and it's quite common in autism that people do have these crazy fixations. They go for one thing and one thing only. And Mickey Mouse was his fixation. It is also my fixation, so we could share it. But we also had to do some order. We had to make some order, and this is putting order. This what before was just a drawing. We discovered this infrastructure, and it was not uh, ever taught before. You know that behind the drawings are hidden drawings. And you see, this is, this is his, uh, uh, Mikmas produced by his, him, and also this inventive, inventive uh, exercises when he had to generate new positions. And I was very happy when he returned after the summer break, came back and I said, Alec, can you find the invisible structure of this character? We didn't practice this one, Donald Duck. And he was able to do that from scratch. Because everything stayed in this maybe a little bit empty house, but with some floors very well wired. I can tell you, some floors are. And uh, when, when uh, I invited him to, to call it this butterflies, it happened for the first time that it was not part of some underground exhibition 
uh, in some institution, but his name was actually part of uh, co-workers in this book because he colored the butterflies. And since then we made uh, many projects together. He sometimes colors my comics. His name is in the newspapers. Last year we were working on animation. <coughs> It's uh, ironic, basically, that it's animation sucks. But uh, eventually, we got tired of it. It's really tiring. And this year, this year we are continuing with uh, something new, and it's uh, perspective drawing. And once again, uh, he was taught in his school to write, you know, this basic uh, thank you, goodbye, uh, I'm sorry words, but he was never taught to draw properly. So he can do this from scratch. He can color this if properly instructed. He can do this you know, from a photo, no problem. But what we did later in, in this uh, additional Photoshop layers, we discovered that there are some hidden lines again. Again, we're trying to structure what is already present. And this is a huge print that I made for him. And we together were drawing these lines on the paper. And this is actually his first proper perspective drawing. And uh, this is his improvisation. And we continue. You can see that he's quite happy, and so, so am I, because we continue and will continue to, to work together. Now, what I got from uh, working with uh, Lyubica and, uh, and Alec, uh, I really keep more, more uh, faithful to myself, to attention to detail is important, and I can share it with other people who also have this, developed this very uh, strong attention to details. But I'm showing you my latest project, and I'm working on this latest project with my dentist. He's also an endodontist, which means he's a professional for going inside your teeth, you know, cleaning them out. And I, myself, was present at two operations. So I'm a bit of a specialist now. If you have any teeth problem, just come to me, we'll, we'll arrange it. Uh, so, uh, this is the character development. And I was happy to invite a friend of mine, Sonia, and she drew me uh, all the costumes for my main characters. So we're really going into details, and okay. And uh, I invited a girl that um, worked with me to make a 3D model, Petra, and 3D model of all the environments in the comics. So what we did after the storyboard, we went and we rendered all the necessary uh, backgrounds, which I'm now using to place my figures. This is just a sketch. I'm showing you fresh sketches. This is from the Last night, this, what I was doing, uh, you know, overnight. You have uh, this uh, uh, bacteria, <laughs> and you will see that basically it's a story of my two operations. <laughs> so, okay, this is uh, uh, my. I actually have three sons and a daughter now, like fourth year, uh, four month. Okay, okay, you can see the, the pain and everything. Okay. Um, now uh, I will have to conclude with a couple of thoughts, and I do have to include Zizek. Uh, not the last because we share, uh, we share our hairdresser. We actually go to the same place, you know, to shave uh, our beards. And uh, come on, good luck. This is fifty dollars. It's uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, he said, <clears throat> "What if one should nonetheless insist on taking the risk of enforcing the impossible onto reality?" He speaks about communism, but he goes also for other solutions, alternative solutions. Even if we do not get what we wanted and or expected, we change the coordinates of what appears as possible and give birth to something genuinely new. It is, you know, dare to dare to think, to dare to discuss, to dare to test new ideas. Um, from, a, okay, from professional word, uh, what do they have? I always did something I was a little not ready to do. I think that's how you grow. When there's a moment of, wow, I'm not really sure I can do this, and you push through those moments, that's when you have a breakthrough. Okay? So this is another, you must think to make, to cross bridges, but you also have eventually to cross them, to do something good. Okay? And I'm, I'm finishing with uh, this latest thought, and the single story creates stereotypes, and the problem with stereotypes is not that they are untrue. They can be true sometimes, and we, Comics creator, we use stereotypes all the time, but that they are incomplete. They make one story become the only story. And this is also 
about the bridges, because bridges, once again, they, just, they just don't just deliver one civilization to another, but they mutually, mutually change both, both worlds. And just the finishing line, I was invited uh, last weekend for the opening of one children's festival, and my job was to do sketches of kids very fast. So you see that I, I uh, sport many styles. I'm a, like a Swiss knife. I do nothing well, but many things I do. <laughs> so, um, uh, this is sketches of children, and the evening was uh, perfect for me because it was like traveling to some strange new uh, land. Uh, because the, the children's eyes really are like looking into the future, and you really, in a way, you are looking to the future. And uh, let's see some of the faces. I did, I think, 22 portraits, which is not just as much because in the summer I did 40 portraits of kids. You see the, the you know the stubbornness and being dreamy and proud and everything you see in these eyes. So um, I'm finishing with the lines. That we have to walk the walk. That's true. You know we have to stand, but we also have to talk the talk. We have to discuss to find new possibilities, and uh, we have to be, build the bridges. Thank you very much.